Hi, I'm Minik from Boxcar Marketing with your one minute marketing tip. And today's tip is about how you use the path exploration report in GA4. If you are in the standard report, engagement pages and screens, you are often looking at volume of traffic to a particular page on your site. But you might have a question in mind like, how do people get to that page? Or where do they go after visiting that page? And to answer those questions, we use explorations and the path exploration. So if we click here, we get the default template that shows us a starting point and series of steps using event name. In this case, we can see that sessions start and people do a page view. They have 15 other events that they do. Um, and we can see the most common paths through the site and we can click on each of these elements to see the next step in the series. So this little tree graph is showing us that. Looking at this particular template is not very useful. Maybe it's more helpful to look at page title. So you can see the session starts most often on men's unisex apparel. Where do they go after? You can click on that to see a path through the site. This is okay and you might use this type of exploration if you are wanting to understand what happens after people go to a particular page. So if I am promoting the Chrome Dino Warm and Cozy Accessory Pack and people are not going to the cart, I might wanna know, well, where are they going when they're not converting? They're looking at other pieces of apparel and I can follow that through to see whether they're actually looking for additional items to add to cart. I can change this to say, well, what's the event name that's occurring when they go to this page? What's their next most common event? Um, they're viewing an item list. They're making another page view. They're viewing an item. So I can explore what is happening through these paths by changing whether I'm looking at the page title or event name. This type of report is really helpful when you have a particular campaign in mind. So if you start over, you have the option to create that tree graph from a starting point, which is what we're reviewing there. People come and they go through a series of events or through an end point. If I'm running a contest or I want to understand how do people get to the cart, those types of pages are an endpoint. I want to see how do they get to that page rather than where do they go from that page. So I have these two options to create as my starting point. And I can pick event name or page title and screen. So if, if my event is purchase or add to cart, then I can pick that from my list and say, okay, I want to see what are the common paths that people are taking through the site that lead to add to cart. And again, I might not be interested in the event name. I might want to know what are the pages that they're going to that lead to that. So shopping cart leads to add to cart. Great. So what is happening? I mean, I can check my cart flow through this, but maybe I'm more interested in how do they get to that add to cart from a particular um, product. Right? So I can follow the path from that product, especially if I am promoting that particular product. And I can say, okay, well, you know, show me the events that are leading to visits of these particular pages. So I can kind of diagnose what's happening if I'm not getting the conversions off a particular page um, that's of interest. The other Example would be um, an endpoint if I have a newsletter sign up or I have a landing page that um, needs to convert, then I can say, okay, well, show me what are the steps that are happening in advance of that conversion point. If we use the starting point, which was similar to the default, then this is often helpful if we're running a campaign and we want to see what our non converting users are doing. So if I am driving um, ad traffic and social media traffic to a particular um, sale or campaign page, 
then I can see, well, if they're not going to the cart, where are they going next? What kinds of activities are they doing? Are there things on these pages that I could be doing in terms of copy or images that get people to take the action that I want them to take? So this is a way, again, you can click on um, the paths that you want to see in order to get an example of, of the tree graph and have an idea of what are people actually doing on the site? What are those common paths? So I'm Anik from Boxcar Marketing, and that's what your one-minute tip for today. Thanks. Bye.